You've probably heard the name Shannon Lee Miller. She's a former American gymnast, but she's here today to talk to us about her cancer journey. Welcome, Shannon. Thank you so much. Uh, it has been a journey, but I will say I have utilized a lot of those skills, a lot of those lessons learned through sport during my cancer journey. Things like goal setting, uh, teamwork, positive mindset, um, resiliency, lots of that. But for those that don't know, I was diagnosed in January of 2011 with a rare form of ovarian cancer and then went through a pretty aggressive chemotherapy regimen. And I'm just, I'm so excited to be a part of that team, um, a part of that hope for other survivors out there, um, trying to give back and to really talk about the importance of supportive care along the way. So tell us what supportive care is and how can it assist people? So supportive care, it works hand in hand with your oncology treatments. And it's so important. When I think of supportive care, I think of friends and family that jumped in to help. I think of um, making myself, forcing myself to get up and get outside and, and breathe fresh air to help with some of the nausea, um, gentle yoga to also help with some of those GI side effects. And, and that's really a big portion that we talk about are these GI side effects of cancer, like nausea, um, dehydration, um, diarrhea, all of these things that we don't really want to talk about, but they're so important to get a hold of during our treatments and supportive care can help. And there are so many things now that are available that weren't available when I was going through my treatment. Um, things like um, the Interaid Oncology Drink, which is a, a non-prescription plant-based drink that helps alleviate some of these GI issues, whether it's from chemotherapy or radiation treatment um, or even immunotherapy. And what I love to uh, remind people, and especially patients going through this, is that when we feel better, we can stay on course with our treatments. When we feel better, we have a better quality of life. When we feel better, we can fight harder. That's wonderful. Any personal tips from your story that you've experienced that you want to share with the, the audience? I think the hardest lesson for me to learn during chemo and my battle was to allow others to help. I wanted to do it alone. I didn't want to complain and I felt very alone. But I want to tell people out there, you are not alone. There is strength in not only accepting help when offered, but there is strength in asking for help when needed. So do not hesitate to ask your medical team, ask about different supportive care options. Um, you are not alone. And then after, Shannon, even when you go into remission, it's still a mental game at that point, and there are resources there to help after, correct? There are, and there are so many resources available today, um, whether it's in your local area, survivorship groups, but you're right, the mental, the psychological, and even the physical, it doesn't stop when the bell rings. It continues on, and I think um, that was, again, a, a very difficult lesson for me, and I'm so grateful for other survivors that stepped in and said, hey, give yourself a little bit of grace. You're not going to feel 100% immediately when you're finished with treatment. It's a process. It's a journey, and that's okay. And I commend you for using your voice to help others. Where can people go for more information? They can go to interaid.com. All right. Thank you, Shannon Lee Miller, for your time, and you're helping so many people. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back.